Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. Um, today we're gonna try to find <laughs> Outpoint Post Zero. Um, whether or not we'll actually find it, uh, it's gonna be cool. <gasps> Hello! Oh <gasps> wait, what did I just do? Huh? Do I eat you? What? So I know the big ones that like I can't pick up. It's like a predator right now. What? Harmless. Interesting. Okay. So I think if I just kind of vibe over here that I can find my way uh, to the zero. Well, not the zero point, to out point zero. Outpost, outpost. I cannot English today already. It's gonna be a good episode. What is going on? Oh, there's that guy that freezes people. There's another one. I don't like them. They're not very nice. Actually kind of suck. I don't actually know where I'm going, so um, hopefully this is the right way. Oh, here's something. Where am I? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Yeah, yeah. We kind of in a cave, so. Oh. Oh, we made it! This is where we want to be. Nice. I love accidentally making it where I want to go. Welcome to Outpost Zero. I'll let you live for now. Okay. Ooh, prom suit. And then we'll get we'll get inside. I'll come back out here and see what else. I understand I need to scan out here. Hypothermia Let's not die from hypothermia. Let's get inside. Okay. What did Altera use this place for? So researchers here were trying to find me. A nice little water filtration machine, those are very useful. Speaking of, I'm a little thirsty. Okay, doors, very useful. Quarters. Ooh, power cell charger. Nice. What else we got in here? Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. I love that. Does anyone else uh, like contraband? Welcome to your home away from home on 4546B. Say the art facilities. Ooh. Prawn Bay. Nice. Okay. Go to the greenhouse. Yes, indoor grow bed. One of my favorite things. Lantern tree. Oh, well, I guess we'll do the glass room first. This is nice. Eat some of it. Scan the tree. Is there anything over here? 
Produce some grow beds, refill engine oil, research samplets, repair hatch door, inspect all cabins. We'll pick up a couple more just to eat on the way. Okay, nice. 74 body heat's really good. Alright, let's, uh, let's go in here. Lillian Bench. Xenobiology. Architect intelligence. Interesting. Ah, oh, my darlings, Brian, Svea, and Oren, I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was cancelled, they have me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just cataloging things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Svea and Oren, you know how you get bored when your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time? It's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You should see her little bangling box. Oren, you'd love them but she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much trouble. Oof. I'm kind of glad she's here though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it and then it just stopped. What if someone, an architect is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out, and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, I hope, but oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to send me some more art? There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch a of genius. Of I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. I'm proud of you. Oh. Uh, this one picture down here, the one I have my cursor on, is a little, um, it's a little disturbing. Plants. Oh. Was this Sam's space? What was she doing all the way out here? There's this. Potato. You are a good cat. Oh, potato. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Pengling research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. 
I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. Oh, these are some long PDAs, but I'm really enjoying the story. Yes. Music. Potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. Hey Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi Orin, hi Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta, or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on now? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. Anything cool over here? No, just a landing pad of sorts? While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wait or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside... Alan, what is this place? It is architect technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of fire, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Oh, it's useless right now. There's definitely a portal. Interesting. Wanted to see what was up here, honestly, I didn't know. But it's good that I know something's up here now. Lots of <laughs> running, man. Wanted to 
see. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. No one's surprised. It's always dangerous weather. Oh, stuck. So that was uh, the zero. So we have a couple more places we have to go to, like the mining place. Um, before that, I really need to make that depth module. And in order to do that, I have to find some diamond. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like um, brain is totally not working. I'm assuming it's kind of like the original Subnautica where I have to go uh, deepish to find it. So uh, we're gonna try to find some diamond. Welcome aboard, Captain. Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. And not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. It's probably a good one. Is that is that a PDA? It is. off sweating through my shirt i'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save altera some money manuel not going to be happy not one bit fair enough it doesn't sound like altera really does anyone any favors anyway so i don't see why you'd want to really uh work for them Here we go. 
I'll get some with you too, that's great. Or something. I have a crater mod. That's cool. I need some oxygen. Okay, let's try to find some oxygen, please. The plant was planted. I'm gonna go over here and grab these ones over here. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Gold, 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 gold. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love this sea trip. I definitely want to make that depth module. Um, in order to make the enable class, you need diamond. In the original game, it was stalker, a stalker tooth, but in this game, it's diamond, unfortunately. Well, I guess fortunate now that I have it. Let's go see if we can build some stuff. <gasps> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I'm stupid. Why do I keep doing this, guys? Why? Mm, vital signs stabilizing. Why am I like this? Okay. I'm gonna get that module. I'm gonna make a plastic ring. I'm gonna make glass. Oh, I think I have to light this right. Yeah, right here. Oh, I gotta make another glass. I. I don't know why I can never find quartz when I need it. Oh, there's nothing getting murked. Good. Yes. Yes, I can unpin that. find our way back to it again by following this artifact that we already scanned. But it was in that same like sea monkey system, so. Okay. So I thought we just wanted to make sure. Okay, so here's some like the area. Scan these like mines. Help root. Harps for resource used in fabrication. Seek uh, fluid intake. I don't think so. What is this? Rubble vehicle bay. I'm gonna save real quick, so in case I die. Uh, monkey. Oh, there's an egg in there, and they got something. Oh, it's laser cutter. I just got that, so, um, thanks for no thanks. And I need some oxygen. There's one. Hi, 
afraid it's gonna get like turned around in here. I'm gonna throw that deeper away. That's where I just came from. Probably. There were a lot more nest in here, I'm pretty sure. I'm just getting like confused. Um why do I suddenly not know where I'm going? Oh. Thank you. Is this a thing that I can harvest? You got something here? That's just a laser cutter? And some kind of... Oh, a sea monkey egg. Well, I got the laser cutter and I got the propulsion cannon, and that's that's a pretty good victory. I feel like. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think that's where we're gonna end it today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, next time, we'll try to get either to the mining facility. Um, yeah, we'll probably try to go to the mining facility because um, I know there's some really good clues there. So until next time, see ya.